sleep whisper hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My website is jasonnewland.com Please get yourself comfortable either sitting down on a chair that supports your body or lying down on a flat surface like your bed. Remembering that if you do decide to relax deeply listening to this recording whilst lying down on your bed, there is a good chance that you will fall asleep. Because we have that long, lifelong connection. sleep. We've all been doing it since we were babies. Just lying down on our back or on our sides and closing our eyes. It almost gets us into that groove of just drifting off. of relaxation where you're not trying to go to sleep you're not trying to be relaxed you're just allowing it to happen naturally yourself permission to let go completely I also suggest that you wear loose clothing so if you just got back from skiing on the mountains before you lay down maybe take off your coat and your boots and your skis so you can relax. Remember that it doesn't matter if there's any background sounds. We don't need complete silence. And relax deeply. just like falling asleep, relaxing our minds and relaxing the muscles of our body is something that we've been able to do from birth. like drifting away on a cloud of calmness. And we've all experienced in the past a real sense of deep relaxation. 
relaxation. Concerns and tensions disappear from your mind. And everything is peaceful. Everything is calm. As your mind slowly down, realizing that you don't need to do anything, you don't have to think about anything, and there's nothing to say. worries from the past evaporate and when you're in this state of comfort the past disappears the future is irrelevant and all that you have right now is this moment Just this moment. Letting go of the past. Letting go of the future. Just how easy you find letting go. How easy the muscles in your body relax. The muscles in your eyes jaw, your tongue and your mouth relax, how easily the back of your neck relaxes, oh. your throat, the sides of your neck. how easily your shoulders relax, how easily your arms, the tops of your arms, your elbows, forearms and wrists. of your hands, the palms of your hands. 
each finger and thumb. Your fingernails. The joints in your fingers. sides of your chest, underneath your arms, and those muscles that connect from your chest into your back, relax, on your back, a large area of your torso, you've got the spine moving down the middle, all the way down from your neck into your hips, into your sternum. muscles either side of your spine, and then the large muscles in your upper back, you've got the bones from your shoulders when you lift your shoulders you can feel your upper back moving and stretching the back of your neck the connection into your shoulders and the muscles shoulders. And those muscles moving into your armpits and the sides of your back join in with your chest. start and end when it comes to your chest and your back. When you raise your shoulders, your chest rises and so does your upper back, stretching
Sometimes just by moving your body from side to side very gently or just arching your back, you can feel those muscles in your middle and lower back stretching very gently. So 